Hello everyone. Good day to all of you. Welcome to our YouTube channel Online Welding and NDT Training. Today topic is Introduction to Welding. For more updates on new courses, please subscribe our channel. The objectives of this training are Explain the welding process Understand how the welding process works Classify the welding processes So, what is welding? Welding is a joining process of joining of materials by the application of heat for example as in shielded metal arc welding or pressure, for example in ultrasonic welding, or heat and pressure both, for example in friction welding, with or without adding filler material, for example, in autogenous TIG versus TIG with filler. An auxiliary flux may be supplied externally. For example, in submerged arc welding or electro slag welding. This video shows the TIG welding with external supplied filler wire. The joining processes in general can be classified as welding. Brazing and soldering. Bonding. In welding, the base metal is usually melted while in brazing and soldering, only filler metal is melted while base metal is not melted for joining. Bonding is done with adhesive. In adhesive, there is course for international adhesive engineer similar to international welding engineer. The welding is a huge field. We find welding work done in household for example furnitures, kitchen utensils, building to space where it is predominantly used in rockets, spacecrafts, satellites. This one example of USF-22 Raptor plane where extensive welding work has been made. This is example of pressure weld where saw is used for circumferential seam welding. Before we proceed how welding works, let's first try to understand some basic of electricity. Voltage is the electrical potential or pressure that push the current to flow. Taking example of a water line, if there is no pressure water will not flow. Giving a pressure will make water to flow in the pipe. Similarly, voltage is the pressure that makes the current to flow. Current is the movement of charged particle or electrons in a direction. The unit of voltage is volts and for current is amperage. In welding we have three polarity where polarity means how the negative or positive terminal are arranged in a weld system. First is DCEP which means direct current electrode positive. Here the electrode is kept positive and workpiece connected to negative terminal. This is used in SMA, MEG slash MAG welding and SAW. Second is DCEN which means direct current electrode negative. Here the electrode is kept negative and workpiece connected to positive terminal. This is used in SMA and TIG welding. Third is AC polarity means alternating current polarity, where the terminal change to negative and positive alternately. This is used mainly for TIG aluminium welding. In welding, when we switch on the power on the power source, the electricity flow through the electrode to the welding arc to the base metal and back to the power source. This complete the electric circuit. So, in welding how convert electrical energy thermal energy? In welding arc, 
the electrical current is converted to the heat because of resistance. This heat melts the base metal and electrode to make the weld joint. Let's understand the change in matter form during welding. In welding we observe four matter forms. First the solid which is base metal and welding electrode. Second is liquid which form when the base metal and electrode melt. Third is vapor which generates during melting although in very small quantity. Fourth is plasma which is found in the welding arc. This formed due to the heat where the gases in the arc zone got ionized and become plasma. As we understand earlier, before welding the metal is solid. Due to the arc heat, the solid metal is converted into the liquid. Some liquid is converted to the plasma. When the arc stops, the liquid metal cools to form a solid again and this the newly formed joint. Now. Let's understand how the welding processes can be classified. Generally, we classify the welding based on energy carrier as Fusion welding processes such as TIG, SAW and Pressure welding processes such as ultrasonic welding and friction welding. A further classification can be made by the purpose of the welding as Joint welding where the two or more numbers are joined. For example, pipeline welding and structural welding. And a deposit welding where the weld metal is deposited on one member only. For example, hard facing, cladding, buttering and surfacing applications. Next welding processes can be classified based on the degree of mechanization used as Manual welding Semi-automatic welding Automatic welding and Robotic welding In manual welding, the electrode movement and feeding and workpiece is controlled manually. Such as in shielded metal arc welding and TIG welding. TIG welding in the form of orbital TIG comes under automatic welding process. Semi-automatic welding processes are those where the torch movement and workpiece movement is manual while the electrode is fed automatic for example in MIG welding. In automatic welding the electrode feed, torch movement is automatic while the workpiece handling is done manually. In robotic welding, all the three parameters that is electrode feed, torch movement, and workpiece are controlled automatically. Robotic welding stations are one example. We are going to discuss classification now based on the energy carrier. The flow chart shows the classification of fusion welding processes. They are classified in Gas welding, electron beam welding, arc welding and resistance fusion welding. The arc welding processes are further classified into metal arc welding, shielded arc welding, submerged arc welding. Metal arc welding are further sub-classified into Manual arc welding where carbon electrode is used to generate heat. Gravitational welding which are mostly used in ship building. And metal arc with cord wire, which is used most in the world and known as shielded metal arc welding or SMA. Shielded arc welding processes are subclassified into gas shielded arc welding and Tungsten arc welding. As seen in this chart, MIG, MAG, electro gas welding, and plasma MIG falls under gas shielded arc welding. Where tungsten inert gas welding, 
plasma arc welding and atomic hydrogen welding falls under tungsten arc welding. This chart shows the classification of pressure welding processes. Here friction welding, resistance welding, and arc pressure welding which is called stud welding is used widely in the industries. The videos show the rotary friction welding and linear friction welding where first heat is generated due to the friction and then pressure is applied. Now the times for some Some questions to check your understanding of the training. Question 1. Which statement regarding welding is correct? A. It is done without filler wire. B. It a process of joining with or without filler. C. It is always done with filler. D. All of the above. Right answer is it a process of joining with or without filler. Question 2. Which welding process is manual in operation? A. Gas metal arc welding. B. Shielded metal arc welding. C. Submerged arc welding. D. Tungsten inert gas welding Right answer is shielded metal arc welding and tungsten inert gas welding. Question 3. Which welding process is a pressure welding process? A. Gas metal arc welding. B. Plasma arc welding C. Friction welding D. Ultrasonic welding Right answer is friction welding and ultrasonic welding. Question 4. Which joining method is not a permanent joining? A. Soldering B. Riveting C. Welding D. Brazing Right answer is riveting. Question 5. Resistance welding normally carried out with the application of pressure? False. A. It is done without the application of pressure. B. True. D. None of the above. Right answer is true. Hope you liked and found this training video useful. Please subscribe our channel for more updates and encouraging us to provide more such trainings.